I have like enough of a fucking a lot breast. of breast. I got none. Can you give me some? Oh my god, I would love to give Mine you some. Mine disappeared. This episode's called breasts. <laughs> Small ones, big ones. <laughs> Welcome to Spill the Chai. <laughs> The chat. This is crazy. I'm in LA right now because award season is starting. Right. Usually I'll be in Toronto, you'll be in LA, and mm -hmm. we'll be discussing some very important topics that are important to both of us. Yeah. Uh, and just about daily life. And we want to hear from you too what subjects to talk about. Are we but focus? Oh, I don't know. But we're brown. We're both brown. In case you are watching this in black and white. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Which is which is not really done. We don't get to see that we very often. We don't get to see right? it. And that's why we thought, you know, like I think there's definitely, we've noticed this, you know, we've been friends for a while and we noticed that there's this like brown girl movement happening in Hollywood. And mm -hmm. we decided to bring our conversations that happen like by DM mm -hmm. secretly into the forefront and start talking about stuff uh, with all of you guys and, and open this conversation. And it's so great because we have all these people that are of uh, South Asian descent. We got Lily Singh right now mm -hmm. out there. We got Priyanka, Priyanka Chopra, Chopra, Mindy Kaling, oh, she's killing Jamila. It. Yeah. yeah, it, it yeah, goes yeah, yeah. on and on. And talking about Priyanka Chopra. Who's your girl? I love her. Yeah. I've known her for, I don't even know, 10, 15 years, I would say. And I remember the conversation I had with her the first time and she said, I want to break into Hollywood. And she released her uh, album at that time. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was a singer for a while I there. knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember that. And then look at her now. She's yeah. married. And she did Quantico. She did... I loved Quantico. Uh, what was the other one? with um, The one with the, the Rock. What was that? The, you should know. He's your boyfriend. What's that movie called? The, 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 that, that movie. They're running on the beach. What is it? Called? Oh, Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> you watch. Watch. I didn't watch you it. Didn't I didn't watch it either. It. I don't know. Um, I, did, I did watch don't it. Don't tell him that. I know. The rock. Hey, Dwayne, what's up? Um, okay, so we're going to talk about Priyanka Chopra's wedding today because this has been a heated discussion between the two of us. Yeah. And we wanted to, like, bring this out to all of you. And I want you all to tell Sangeeta that I'm right. No, 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 no. <laughs> so on Spill the Chai, we're going to have discussions of things that are happening in our life right. as well. And you're getting married this year. I am. I've been married for 16 years, celebrating my 17th That's this year. So it's crazy. crazy. I've been with the same guy for almost 21 years. He's super you're, handsome. I look, you're supposed to say I look young. You look super yeah. young. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> he's so handsome. I was like, forget him. No. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> But you know what? We're still in our honeymoon phase. We Are still you? check each other. I still check him out. I still. It's there's something about our relationship where we learn that uh, you have to have separate lives, and we also yeah. have, have to have a life together, and that's very important. So that's my my advice to you. You. He's also married to Canada's cover girl, so I feel like oh, it's not that hard for he, you. To I don't keep even it. know if he knows that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't really even think he's interested. I feel in that. like every guy in Canada oh, knows oh, that. Oh my gosh! So. But yeah, you're Should getting we married. Just this year? Introduce who we are really. Quick oh right! Oh my gosh! Yes. Um, you go. Okay, you go first. You go first. Okay, so I'm Malia Jasmine, uh, TV host and producer, um, and I'm currently living in LA. Uh, I'm an environmental journalist mm -hmm. working for NBC currently. She, you just got your degree last year. My too. master's in environmental journalism. Yay! And wildlife reporting, so I'm yes. very excited. Yeah, yeah. and I'm saying, you know, Patel, you've probably seen me on Canadian uh, outlets in entertainment. I used to do weather for a while, I used to be an engineer. And one of the things that I really want to do going forward is have real talks and conversations mm -hmm. that are important to me and to you and Same. to you as well. And I think this is a great platform for us to start. And I think that's when we finally said, yeah, let's, do, let's this, do this, make this happen, spill the chai, don't spill it on this. Don't, yeah, this is this, yeah, on this nice this bed. bed. Uh, but one of the conversations again is about the whole wedding concept. And and it, you know, you're having this dilemma of having an Indian wedding. Do I have a brown wedding or not? Yeah. I mean, this is the thing. Can we? Can, let's talk about Priyanka Chopra's okay. wedding. So she got married December first, two thousand eighteen. Did you to... like her wedding? <laughs> To Nick Jonas, who's 10 years younger than her. Which and I she, don't have a problem with. I she, do not have a problem with that. Right, that's fine. That's great. Yeah. I think it's it's wonderful. But she had her wedding right after Meghan Markle, the big royal right. wedding. And her wedding was this Indian royal wedding. It was bigger. It, it was bigger, wasn't it? Was it was bigger. Did you see the drone shots that were yes. happening? So what do you think? I, I think it was beautiful. Okay, let's and, hit a couple things. Okay. One, let's address the age difference, because that's a big thing everyone talks about. Right. I don't think that that's an issue. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, Not so for people who do think it's an issue who are watching, I'd like to know why. I mean, put mm -hmm. that in the comment section below. I am um, about to marry someone who's five years younger than me. What's their age difference? Five years. Yours is five? Yeah. Mine is six, and hers, Priyanka Chopra and Nick are 10 years apart. 
Is yours six years younger? He's six years older than I or am. Older. Okay. But yeah. see, I feel like that's accepted for some reason. It's. I think it's better as you get older. I think when we were younger, it was uh, a different discussion. Again, I've, I've been with him for 21 years, yeah. right? That is and so there, crazy. Yeah. And there's that gap where it depends where you are in your life, right? Right. But at this point, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. So, yeah. like, I just feel like it's been so accepted for men to be older and women to be younger. And yeah. now there's so much criticism about older women and I'm obviously biased because I'm dating somebody younger mm-hmm. than me but but no one's ever picked you on, uh, on that with, with your relationship yeah I get we, yeah. I, we get comment like if you look at my Instagram comments when I post the two of us like I get like robbing the cradle all no. the time or like he'll get like cougar and I'm no. like I think I look younger than me <laughs> <laughs> so you thought her wedding was elaborate I thought it was too much she got married after Meghan Markle and her wedding was so big and so extra and like I'm not a big wedding person. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm I'm not. I'm very apprehensive about my own wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just thought she went like, her wedding was like 35 days long or something. It was like <laughs> 300 ceremonies, 500 outfits, like so many drone shots. I mean, I just felt like it was the budget of like a Bollywood film yeah. on her wedding. And like, it was sponsored. And also her official photos were like, not for her. They were for People Meg. Like, I yeah. get it. Yeah. You take your own photos and then like paparazzi take photos or you end up, they end up buying one or two of mm-hmm. your photos. Mm-hmm. But like her official photos were People Magazine photos. Like, that's weird I agree and and I think part of it is that when she had this wedding um the guest list as well she didn't have a lot of people there but there was a lot of celebrities invited to the right. wedding it was in India I know a lot of people couldn't show up because it was in India I think you need a visa to go to India to oh actually, really yeah there were some issues so some people we knew that she invited did not show up okay. because of that reason but um I think were you invited we, no I wasn't invited. sorry <laughs> thanks for telling sorry, me sorry sorry uh, but you know, it was big, but also at the same time, it's a celebration of the Indian culture. I think for her to right. be able to open it up to people who haven't seen it before, got to see, get a taste of it, really. I mean, mm. it's not like that all the time, <laughs> definitely yeah. not, but it's a sense of making it even more elaborate to kind of celebrate what the Hindu culture celebrates huh. in terms of weddings, right? So it's almost like, hey, if we're going to put it out there, let's put it out there in a That's big a way, point. right? I a like lot that. of people saw the fashion, they yeah. got to see the ceremony. Yeah. She even did the, um, uh, the prayer the day before, and I don't know the name of it, but that usually means this is this because people are questioning their relationship if it was actually real or not. Right. But she did that celebration, that that prayer, and I just feel felt like to me that this was a real relationship. You know that kind of okay. So I still think that she was mm. super extra with it all, and I and maybe it was just because it was in the wake of the royal wedding, and I yeah. felt like it was bigger than the royal wedding, and and the veil was like, okay, give me a break. Anyways, but <laughs> I whole- loved it, Brianna. <laughs> That veil could go on and on and on. And I think that's what you're going to wear for your she wedding, right? Know. She looked so beautiful. She did. She looked so beautiful. But I just she thought did. it was a bit extra. However, um, I think that's a really good point. What mm-hmm. a great way. And I never thought about it until you just said it. Um, I think that is a really good point. What a great way to show off mm-hmm. the Indian culture. Mm-hmm. And also because she was marrying a non-Indian. Right. And I, what I did love about the, their wedding was that I love seeing the Jonases really embrace Indian yeah. culture and I you know I think me also marrying like a white guy it's pretty important for him me to see him being game yeah like yeah. game for all the they even had a, stuff they had a sangeet right and yeah. they all danced and performed and they practiced the dances well they're doing their and... own show now the <laughs> right show. and there you go yeah. that's the whole point so they've taken it to the next yeah. level and you're right and they're I think making it's... money more money off their way right it, maybe it was all planned that way like that's what I'm saying it's like how much of this was planned just to profit from like how because there was apparently like sponsors right yeah. isn't that the word Kim, on the even street? Kim Kardashian did too she had sponsor when she was married but to what's Kim that guy Kardashian is Humphreys. Kim Kardashian yeah like, I know we expect that from right. her but Priyanka like I it's don't know it's a different know. generation now I think not a, not a different generation it's a different time it's social media sacred. nothing is sacred but your wedding's gonna be sacred are you ready to wear a big dress and are you ready to do the full Hindu ceremony are you ready to kind of you, look at that. You're giving me a face right now. I mean, are you ready for your wedding day? So, okay. Four days of wedding celebration. First of all, I want to elope. Um, <laughs> secondly, so I'm getting married because Mike, my fiance, is like really wants a wedding, which I had no idea about our mm-hmm. entire relationship, how much he wanted this. But he like, I had an entire elopement planned in East mm-hmm. Africa where my parents are from. Oh, nice. We're going to get married in the same town. Aww, my grandparents got married. Yeah. Like giraffes and elephants in the back. That. It would have been beautiful. Idea, yeah. um, and we had it all planned. Um, and uh, then he brought me out to dinner and just said, like, I've always dreamt of having a wedding. I want to, like, wear a tuxedo. I want you to be in a white dress. Yeah. And, and, like, he never asks for anything. So I just felt like this is 
Yeah. You have compromise in a marriage, right? So when you're younger, you never thought about your wedding day? No. I wanted. To, I honestly always thought I would get old, like, saving drafts and, like, drinking wine by myself and having, like, right. these amazing, like, Lana Del Rey-esque, like, relationships every mm-hmm. summer. And, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, I just, I never thought I'd be in one marriage. Mm. I, I just didn't see that for myself. But things change. You know, you yeah, find you someone. Find right person. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's in, incredible and he doesn't ask for anything so I'm doing this for him. But I think part of me being very apprehensive towards having a, a wedding is this like expectation of, of like social you know, gender roles and kind of what the pressure of the wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, not only the Western wedding but also like the Indian wedding. Yeah. So we're, so I would, we're not Hindu so I wouldn't have a Hindu wedding but I think no matter what you are, if you're South Asian, you have that expectation of a huge wedding. And if you know people who live in Vancouver, yeah. Canada, like they all one up each other when they have really, weddings. yeah, like I didn't within know that. families, like people like one up each other, and that whole thing is like something I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. But your mom's also putting a little bit of pressure on you, right? She yeah. wants certain things for your wedding day. Yeah, like my sister just got married uh, last two months ago, I guess now, in the south of Spain, she married a Spanish guy. And so they had a joint, like, Catholic, like, it was kind of like a, a white-brown mix. Wedding. Okay. So they had this beautiful wedding. It was very much them in an olive grove in this area that had, like, history for both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but then on the Friday night, the night before, she did, like, a kind of manduo ceremony. It was like mm-hmm. a hybrid kind of all brown ceremonies into one. You did henna. Yeah, we did, did all everything, yeah, everything, yeah. dancing, the, everything. And so... Um, and that was really important to my mom. Like, like, and she, my sister, like Elisa, she wore like Indian outfits. We all wore saris. He wore like he went, he works a lot in India, so he went and bought like full Indian outfits. Mm-hmm. So we all got that. I don't want to do that at my wedding. So Violet, three hundred seventy-five people. Oh my God, Sangeeta, this is like <laughs> we wanted to elope too. But my mom, it was my, it was a thing. It was actually a gift to my mom more than anything yeah. else. And the That's family. A nice gift. Was she happy? And she was ecstatic. Yeah. She, but it was funny because I asked her who she wanted to invite, and her list was almost 500 people. Well, this is the thing. It's right? like I feel I don't like, even know yeah, any of you them. Don't know them. Um, but that was one of the issues. But Sam and I, who's also uh, he's a Patel as well. We got married. He brought his family down from Calgary. We had the wedding in Toronto. 375 people. We did all the traditions. We had a four-day event. See, you guys are both uh, have the same background, so yeah. maybe it was like more pressure on you guys. I think so. Because I have like the white guy excuse. Yeah. No, but my sister did the same thing. She married a Portuguese guy. And she and she had excuse? a full-on Hindu did. wedding. She did. She did. Did she feel pressured or she wanted it? That's a good question. I don't know. That's a really good question. Okay, so here's a question for you. So you had this huge wedding, yeah. beautiful wedding, multiple multiple day wedding, right. over 300 guests. If you could do it again, yeah. would you do it or would you elope? Ooh, if I can elope with my close friends and family, I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't just be us two. I think I have to give that to his parents and my parents that one opportunity to do that. Yeah. yeah. So if it was that way, then it's fine. But 500 people I don't know? No, yeah. I wouldn't want to do that again. But 375, we had people crashing our wedding that night because we had free alcohol. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, whatever, let them dance. If they want to drink and dance, that's fine. Can we whatever. Put up a picture of like Sangita's wedding right now? Because I want to see. What did you wear? Uh, I wore a traditional dress. Both red? of them. Uh, it was white with red. Okay. And then in the evening, I changed into a, I think it was purple. Did you do a white wedding dress at all? No, I didn't. Because we're both Hindu, so yeah. there's no... Uh, and he didn't do the horse thing. He didn't do any of that. Uh-huh. But um, it was great. I think it was fine. It's just if I, I would have done it differently if it was up to me. So one of my best girlfriends got married a few years ago, and she did the traditional Hindu ceremony, but then she also did a white dress uh. wedding. Like, she did both. Um but I don't know, I just seem so extra. Like I don't need, I didn't even want to do like the yeah. the dress. Like I'm doing I'm literally doing it all for him. So how many people are gonna be at your wedding? I I would love for it to be about a hundred. A hundred. And that's so... only because our families are both really big. Okay. So we can't do less than like if it was if I had my dream, it would be us two in Africa with both of our parents. Yeah. And that yeah. was really it. Like yeah. everyone else can see pictures and Right. I, I really feel our conversation has changed a little bit. You seem more acceptable to the idea of doing more of the tradition I'm from the last in. before you're like, No, no, I'm, I'm not doing it, it. <laughs> no. And right now you're like, No. 
Because it's for my parents. I know. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I your, your mentality, you're like blushing right now, you're turning red, but I think your mentality has totally changed about this. You know, you say you did it for your, it was a gift to your parents, yeah. and I feel like the more and more we discuss it, I see the joy it brings to my parents. I'm like, you have good parents, and they've given you so much, yeah. and like, you know, that, like a lot of us, like, you know, our parents came here as refugees or immigrants, mm -hmm. and they've given us this life here and paid yeah. for school, and I just see how happy it's making mm -hmm. them, and like, I don't know. It's so now hard. you're okay with Priyanka Chopra's wedding now? No, I think it was so <laughs> extra. Am I the only one? Like, I'm not saying it wasn't pretty, but am I the only one who thinks it was so extra? Like, comment below. Comment below. Okay. Okay. So next time you see us, I'll be in Toronto. And I'll be here in Los Angeles. And we're going to figure out how to shoot this. Yeah, we haven't figured out the like Skype multi-screen thing, yeah, we but we will. Delay, but if you, yeah, if you can tell us how to do that. Did we get? Or yeah. did we get everything we were supposed to talk about on this? Like I on think your so. note? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I feel like we didn't talk enough about your wedding, but okay. I think so. Do you have plans for your wedding day? I mean, wedding night. Like, will we consummate our marriage? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> Yeah, my parents think I was a virgin until I got married. I was a virgin! No, even. No! Did you guys get a hotel? Oh my god! Can I tell we you? have two no, kids no, now! It's okay! Yeah, no, 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 no! But no, no! I, I, you have to keep no, this in! No, you have no, two kids! No, 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 you're, it's okay! I, no, no, no. And you're married no, to No! My first night was. No, my god! No! I even told my mom on the morning of, because my wedding morning, I'm in my bedroom, I wake up, my mom comes and gives me a kiss on my my forehead, and I blurt out, Mom, I've been with Sam for six years. So she did not know, because I knew someone's speech was going to talk about my relationship with Sam. She didn't and know how you guys long. had been dating? She didn't know I was with him for that long. Okay. So I said in the morning, I said, and she's like, oh, okay. And then she walked away, I'm like, I was like sweating, and I'm like, I'm marrying this guy, and I'm telling my mom about our six year relationship. Like, I wasn't so ready. Cute. I had to wait for six years before I said, okay. Not six years, well, five years, and finally tell my parents together about it. for so long. So long. That's amazing. Like, yeah. my, my, the guy my sister just married, that's her first boyfriend. Aww, I love that. That is so beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I married my best friend. Mm. Right? Yeah, I love following you guys on Instagram. Oh, I know. You guys he, are super he hates cute. taking pictures. Yeah, but he's so handsome. Yeah. Aww. You guys are a cute couple. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you guys have been together for so long. No, no, no. You have to keep it no. in. <laughs> yeah. No to the producers. Wait, let's pull I don't think my mom watches can YouTube, we, does she? I'm stressing the shit out right now. <laughs> We're going to pay Yeah. Let's, mom, no. <laughs> I'm going to flip a coin and we can, and then no. we'll decide no. if we're going to keep it in or um, not. But we want to hear about your wedding experiences as well. Did you go through the same thing as I did? Or did you go through the same thing as AJ is mean, going look, to be going through? Is, like, do I need to do all the brown, like, Indian I mean, some stuff? Some of the traditions are important, too, right? Like, you, even when you um, walk into not? the house, you're supposed to step in with your right foot. I know, you have to do I only all have, the seven steps. I only have dollar and, bills on me. I oh, have no change, so we can't flip a coin. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen. Keep it in. Yeah, but let us know what you want to talk about. Yeah. We have some things that we want to share with you, and that's going to be coming up very soon. Yeah, just spoon. <laughs> coming up very soon. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, we have some topics that I think that are very important that we need to put out there. And, and if you guys have any discussion. issues, like, you know, conversations that are happening right now in the South Asian community, mm -hmm. or especially with brown girls, you know, I think both of us growing up without seeing people like us on TV was really hard, and we really want to have those yeah. conversations. Like, even if it's, you know, like, Sangeeta obviously is the face of mm -hmm. Cover Girl, and I think, like, when, one of the things that made me happiest when I read about your announcement, or you told me about your announcement, is that um, I remember having to mix three foundation colors to That's get it, you know, a, a color that wasn't too pink for me. Mm -hmm. And so even like if it's about stuff like that, let us know. We would love to talk about it. Yeah. And I also really want to hear from you guys, especially a lot of you who have gotten married. Um, do you think I need to do traditional Indian ceremonies? Or mm -hmm. can I just have a simple wedding like You're, a little wedding, like just a small little like white dress wedding. I want to have like a 20 minute ceremony and just a party. Maybe that's probably that's the best way to do it is have a small wedding and then have a big reception. Yeah. Right. Just like a literally 20 minute little like say our vows and then we just have this huge party mm -hmm. and we'll have like a live band and just everyone dance. Plant based food. Plant, mostly plant based food. No, no dairy. Can I sneak in a steak? <laughs> no, I don't eat steak, mom. I don't. <laughs> Your mom can't watch our show. No, mom. I'm sorry, mom. I'm Co a good girl. Coming at you from Los Angeles. Bye, guys. Spill, Spill the, the juice. Subscribe as well. Yeah, I don't. I don't.
I eat only shrimp. You're steak eating non-virgin. <laughs> and I have two kids. 